Hi, welcome back to Rolling Through Life. My name is Wanda, and it's time for our daily devotion. Today is January 4th, 2019, and the read for today is John 14, called Old and New Houses. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. 2 Corinthians 5.1 my dad bought a parcel of land in the valley of Mexico. At the back of this land lay the ruins of an adobe house. Near the ruins was a hand dug well lined with timber. An old pear tree and a few willows graced the Samariad land, taking advantage of the unusually shallow water table. Here was someone's home long ago. That someone must have looked at this land and had a vision for what he could make of it. He labored hard to bring that dream to reality. I wonder who he was. But now the results of that person's dream and labors lie in ruins. Somewhere along the way, a bulldozer came to the scene and did its work. And now a farmer tills the ground where that house once stood. Today, my son-in-law's house stands close to the old pear tree. There is, a, there is little to be seen of the house and home that once existed on the spot. Let's face it, now I dream and labor, but the time will come when I leave everything unto the man that shall be after me. And who knoweth whether he shall be a wise man or a fool? Yet shall he ru have rule over all my labor wherein I have labored, and wherein I have showed myself wise under the sun. Ecclesiastes 2, 18 to 19. Yes, someday, someday I too will pass on. My dreams and labors will be left for someone else to manage or dispose of as they please. So I want to enjoy my work, yet seek first the kingdom of God. For all of us who do this, earthly activities will not be goals in themselves, but stepping stones toward the internal, eternal home. My heavenly home is bright and fair, nor pain nor death can enter there. The one-year Bible uh, reading plan is Matthew 4 and Genesis 9 through 11. You know, we all strive um, a lot to make our lives better. Um, I know I do. Um, but do we strive that hard to make God's kingdom better. You know, I think that, yes, of course we have to um, do our survival skills, you know, whether it be go to work, get paid, and, you know, be buy food, pay your mortgage, rent, whatever. But beyond that, it's all extras. Are we looking for extra people to enter heaven? Or are we just doing our bare minimum of going to church on Sunday? And um, the rest of the week, you know, is our time. Um, we may read our Bible and stuff, but do we really focus? So, um, yeah, when we pass, everything around us means nothing to me anymore. So what I need to focus on is the hereafter. You know, because I do solely believe the places of heaven and hell are either more torturous or more beautiful than we as a human being can conceptual conceptualize. We can't even imagine how bad or good it is. So do we want to see people wind up in hell? Or do we want to try to do good works to um, bring them to Jesus? That's something we need to strive for every day. Because all this stuff, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's what I got out of it. Um, if you guys ever get anything different out of it, you know, put it down in the comments below. Because one person can read a scripture a whole different than another person. They can get a little bit different meaning out of it. So, that's all I have for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.